You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he said nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. We've had him on the program before. He's everyone's dentist, Dr. Rob Strain. Dr. Strain, welcome to the program. Hi, Randy. How are you? All right. Good, good. Now, we've had you because you're, a lot of people know you as the high-end cosmetic guy, well-known clients, things like that. Uh, but you do dental implants and you work as a team. Now, yes. for people that don't know your practice, who's coming in for dental implants? The, the people that come in for dental implants most readily are the ones that have heard what, how they can change their lives. Those are the denture wearers. But we also see um, the patients who has a mouth that's just falling apart. And they have to make a decision, either dentures or fixed teeth supported by, denture, by dental implants. You don't like dentures, right? No, no one should be wearing a denture today. Um, they're uncomfortable. People learn to deal with them. They don't complain about them. But I haven't met a patient that honestly can say they're really happy with their dentures. Yeah, the people that come in are, first of all, denture wearers. They're, they're unhappy with what they have or they know they're unhappy and they've heard about what dental implants can do for them. You know, perhaps they just have sore spots. They have a denture that's floating around in their mouth and they're just tired of dealing with that. They get embarrassed in crowds. They're afraid to kiss someone, for example. Um, you know, th there's a story I have to tell you All right. uh, just to start off here. I go to a lot of dental seminars and frequently to warm the audience up, the presenter will show a video and I'm tired of seeing this video. It's of a lady jumping out of an airplane and as she's coming down skydiving, her teeth come out. Well, the audience generally laughs. But you know who won't laugh at that? Who's that? A denture wearer. Because yeah. they live with that every day with the fear of what can happen with their teeth. Are there a lot of, uh, like, uh, you're in the Inland Empire. Are there a lot of people that are wearing either a upper false teeth or lower denture? You know, there are a couple million people that live in the Inland Empire. And 15 to 20 percent of those people are wearing a denture. So, what are those numbers? 300,000, maybe. Could like that's three coliseums full of people. So, if there's so many people with an upper or lower denture, right? You say over 300,000, just in yes. the Inland Empire. Yes. Then why aren't they all coming in to get a permanent set of teeth that don't come in and out with dental implants? What's your take? Well, well the first thing is they've fallen out of our system. A person gets a new set of dentures many years ago, they get them adjusted so, or they get tired of going in for adjustments, so they just stop going to the dentist. We don't see them for years. Even if we tell them to come in, they don't come in. And, so they don't and know, so, even know about it. Yeah, so they don't know about it or they're just in a habit of not going to the dentist. If you don't go, you can't find out what we can do or hear what, what the possibilities are. A, a second reason is they had, they had bad experiences leading to their denture. They had umpteen dental visits for big fillings, crowns, root canals, gum treatment. They're fed up with it. They're tired of it. Well, the good thing about that is they, they can come in for dental implants and they don't have any of that anymore. And then another reason I, I think is that they might be embarrassed a little bit. It's like if you put something off a little bit and then you put it off a little more and a little more. The farther it goes, the more embarrassed you are. And I find that if I don't do something my wife wants me to do or yeah, something. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. I ignore it and it gets, I just dig myself in a deeper hole in a way. So I just encourage those people to know that we accept them. The dentists accept them coming back into the office. We understand their predicament. Your original question, Randy, was why denture wearers don't come back in to see the dentist. There are a couple more reasons I'd like to share with you that that might hit home with a couple people out there. One is that they're concerned about finances. Well, what they don't know now is that, well, the reason they're concerned really is they don't know what they're gonna get out of it. Okay. They can't, it's very hard to picture the change in your life, what it's gonna do for you in the future. And they also don't know that there's options. They may have heard about how expensive one dental implant is and they multiply that times how many teeth they have. And it's like, oh, this is impossible. Well, it doesn't take that many dental like, implants. Like four or six implants or yeah, something it, like it that? It doesn't take that many implants. For a full to, arch of teeth? Well, four, four to six for a full arch of fixed teeth. But we also have solutions 
to snap in and snap out dentures, which also gives a, a person security, helps reduce their sore areas, a lot of other benefits. Okay. Um, How old can you be to get this done? I'm glad you asked that because that was my other point is there's not a limit on how old you can be. Um, there is, a, and connected to that, some people, I get patients that come in and say, well, I'm too old or my other, my last dentist said I didn't have enough bone. We have techniques today where it works with less bone or we make more bone for them and it can provide a solution. There's, there aren't many contraindications, but we do the studies that's that are necessary to say this is going so to work. So can a 90 year old do this? Uh, Randy, Without a problem? I, I had an 88 year old. I could do a 95 year old. I could do a 100 year old. My mom has all of her teeth and she turns 100 this year. So I can't do hers. I'm not going to do that. I'm okay. sorry. All right. But let me tell you one of the saddest things in my life is that my dad, as he was in his late 80s, got dementia. And I did not, because of some medical complications, I didn't get implants into his mouth to help him chew. So he suffered the last few years of his life. With a denture. With, not well, with a partial denture or not wearing it. And he didn't need to. What do we enjoy the most in our last years of life? Eating. Yeah. I yeah. mean, eating and com being comfortable, not having sores, not complaining. Yeah. I don't see why anyone wouldn't try and do this. But isn't it true though, that if you've been wearing a denture for let's say 10 years, you don't have enough bone to get this done? Not at all, Randy. Um, I can tell you of patients I've treated in their 80s, given them a full set of fixed teeth, a nice smile, and they've been told they didn't have the bone to, to hold implants before. It's possible. But every patient, I've got to tell you, every patient has to be looked at on an individual basis. But 80-year-olds, so, 90-year-olds, 100-year-olds yeah, could do uh, it? I'm going to show you a patient in a few minutes here, I hope, okay. that he's in his early 80s. He may look younger with his teeth in, but he's in his early 80s that has a full arch of teeth, full set of teeth, all fixed. They don't come out of his mouth at all, and they look gorgeous, and he could not have done that according to other dentists. Now, now what could you eat, by the way? Um, I mean, are, are you restricted? I mean, could you eat, like, an apple with your front teeth? Apples are the easiest thing in the world to say you can eat. Uh, the only thing I, you can eat carrots, apples, corn on the cob, uh, ribs. The only thing I tell people not to do is the same thing I tell you not to do with your natural teeth. That's don't bite off your fish line, don't chew your <laughs> fingernails, don't crack sunflower seeds. That's about it. But other than that, you can eat whatever you want. Absolutely. Now, I know a couple of, uh, of denture wearers. They never complain. They seem to be fine. Are you saying there's no such thing as a happy denture wearer? Um, I don't. I'm not. I don't know that I've ever met one because they come in to me with problems, and okay. I have a feeling almost everyone out there wearing dentures has some of those same problems. They just learn not to complain. Maybe they put goop, goops of stuff underneath their denture or pads under their denture to live with it. And especially men, they've learned to kind of put things off a little bit. That's what you say, the, men the women, put it off the yeah, most. Yeah, the women, come, the women come in more readily to address situations, it seems. With this, this procedure, you've said it yourself, on the day of the procedure, they could actually literally walk in without teeth and walk out with teeth. That's that absolutely right? true. And Is that right? We, we, it's a planned... It's planned. Well, there's a lot it's that like goes into it. They obviously. don't come in without an appointment and say, okay, this is what I want. <laughs> we, we work it up and we plan it and give them the teeth that they want. We give them the smile they want. Just not any old smile we throw now, in Now, because mouth. you teamed up, you always team up with an oral surgeon right there. Does it cost more to have two guys doing it rather than, because I've had people on my show that one guy does the surgical part and then he also puts the tooth on top you have this team approach does it cost more for this team approach no I don't, I don't see why it would and the, sur the surgeon specializes and knows how to do things efficiently I know how to do things efficiently now I know you brought photos so what are we gonna look at what do you got? Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is just three of the situations that are co most common for us um, as far as placing implants and creating a, f a fixed set of teeth. All right. Okay. Okay. The first pictures I'm going to show you are of Dave. Now, 
I love Dave. He, he is my favorite kind of patient, and he, he's like a drug for me. He, cha <laughs> he, cha he changes my life as well as my changing his life. And so if you look at these, the, the first picture is he came in with a set of dentures. Now, believe it or not, he has that set of dentures in his mouth in that first picture. And so I asked him to close to see how much facial shape he had there, what his, what his face was like. And if you look at this picture, his nose is prominent in the picture. And it's because he's closed up in the lower part of his mouth. His dentures have sunken up into his bone here and down here. And so his, his nose his gets closer to his up. chin. Yeah, so his nose is closer to his chin. That can happen in natural teeth as well, but especially in dentures with, that have been worn for a period of time. Now, we put a new set of teeth in his mouth, had him close, and now you can see the difference. He's looking younger already. Do you agree? Interesting. Yeah. Now, so now look at the nose before and the nose after. You don't see his nose so much. You see a nicely shaped face. You know, a decent looking guy Very here. Interesting. Okay, and a few years younger. Now, here he is with his old teeth in his mouth. And by the way, he came in to, for a reline. He didn't come in for implants, but he started asking me about them. So. I could have done a reline for him. It would have looked ugly because he's, it's the same teeth, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. so we started with, your teeth aren't in the right spot for your face. And he said, oh, what could you do? And I said, well, let me show you. So this is what we could do. If you look at the next picture, we could put that teeth in the right position that they belong in his face. He asked for white teeth, by the way. He said, I've had ugly teeth for all my life. I want a big smile. So that's what we created for him. And look how much younger he looks. So we could have given him a traditional denture, but instead we locked them in with dental implants. Now these dental implants allow him to snap those teeth in and out. If he ever wants to convert it by adding a few more implants, now we can tie them down and they never come in, and they never come out of his mouth. So it, it, he can do that in a stepwise approach if he wants to. In, in a traditional denture, the roof of the mouth is covered. You lose your taste sensation, you swallow differently, it's uncomfortable, you can get sore areas. With, with a snap-in, snap-out denture, or with a fixed set of teeth, not necessary anymore. The best part is the eating. Before, his teeth were flat. All he could do is kind of gnash and mash his food. You know, so it was, um, he was on a mashed potatoes diet. It's embarrassing when you go to a restaurant and have to limit what you order by what you know your teeth can do for you. Now he has sharp teeth, they stay put, he can chew anything he wants to. He can bite off anything he wants to. So, world so, of difference. In your practice, if somebody comes in either wearing false teeth and they wanna know their options, or somebody that has horrible teeth, as you say, they need extractions, but they know they don't want a denture. What are their options? Okay, basically a couple options. I'll go through them for you. First, they can just do two implants to help hold in a snap-in, snap-out set of teeth. These will support a denture and keep it from moving around. Then they have a full set of teeth that snaps onto those two implants. No more adhesive? No more adhesive. They can take it out, clean it, put it back in, chew just about anything they want to chew. Still a little bit of movement in the back, so we have to take care of that. And with that option, they can eat and chew, not worry about teeth flying out of their mouth, they're moving around embarrassingly, um, they can be happy again okay. to, with that option. The next option is to place more implants, perhaps four implants in on the top, four on the bottom. They can either, with four implants, some they can have a snap in, snap out, more secure, no movement in the back. How soon can they eat, by the way? After the implants are yeah, placed? Yeah. Well, as soon as the numbness is gone. Is that right? So, yeah, as okay. soon as the numbness is gone. So that could be, what, three or four hours? All right, all right. So they'll want to eat, too. They're, they're ready to go when, okay. when, they, when they have their teeth in like that. So what's the next so, level up? So the next after four is it might still be four. It might be five or six. That's how many implants it generally takes to have a full set of teeth that's permanently secured in your mouth. Um, that, you know, that's the most delightful thing to see a patient able to do everything they were ever, ever, ever able to do, and maybe not even able to do with their permanent teeth because they had problems with their permanent teeth. Now they have 
permanent teeth without problems. So I had this one lady, a uh, little different because she was sent in by her boyfriend. She ended up with snap in, snap out, upper and lower teeth. How old was she? She was in her early 80s, I believe. And her life was changed because now she had, well, her teeth weren't very attractive before. Now she had attractive teeth, beautiful teeth actually. She felt comfortable. She, she started wearing purple and wearing these, um, <laughs> what are those things called that you throw over your shoulder? I mean, she started dressing different. She would, became a show, show girl in her own right, I guess okay, is, okay. is what you would say. Just so. because of her teeth. Well, it changed her personality. Now, now you're so, a dentist. You think the smile is probably the most important thing. Is that, is, is that right? I, that's not all I look at, but the smile can change people's lives and the way they look at life. It, it can give, give them a new lease on life for many, many patients. There are people that don't even smile because they're not proud of their teeth. They don't like their teeth. If a great smile can change a person's behavior, it can change the way they are in public with their friends. It can give them a comfort level when they're eating in front of other people. It can, you know, there's a study that's been done with people that have had job interviews. So these two twins had, okay. had job interviews. One went in with a beautiful new smile. One had an okay smile. The people in the study, that it showed that the one with the beautiful smile got hired every time over the other one with a minor, you know, what you'd say a minor difference, but our eye is trained to look at the smile before any other part of the body. When you're looking for a partner, okay, uh, a mate in life, the thing that affects you most is their smile. And I don't know whether it's- In surveys, they always yeah, mention that. I don't know if it's that, in surveys, they've, they've shown that. It's always and in I, the top I, three. And I don't know if that's because our eye is trained on the aesthetics of the facial shape, or if it's showing that, hey, this person really cares about themselves, or this person really cares about me because they're smiling so much at me, but there's something, something about it. Now, I like what you said. You said, that people with really bad teeth, right, that they are discriminated against. Elaborate um, on that. Well, it, it's what I just shared with you. I, you know, I was at a restaurant the other day, and I don't want to diminish anyone's importance in life, but my waitress had very crooked teeth. And it's like, oh, I just hope this girl gets to an orthodontist or gets something done with her teeth sometime because I know she's such a cute girl. Otherwise, she will succeed in life much more if she can have that done. Maybe it's not fair, but it's, it's how okay. life is. It's, you know, there, there are, as a parent, we spent thousands and thousands of dollars getting our children's teeth straightened. Yeah. And the reason for that was so they could be healthier and succeed in life. With more. orthodontics, right. Yeah. And not be discriminated against by their peers at work, at school, whatever. But they don't do it for themselves sometimes. That, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Do kids, the parents don't do it for themselves. I get a lot of um, parents that, you know, the people that are wearing dentures, they come in after their kids are out of college. So... I wish they would come in sooner because that's when we can help them preserve the bone that's in their mouth and keep some of that damaging process from occurring. What about pain? It seems very painful to put a dental implant in. Uh, that, that's the real surprise is when dental implants are placed after the teeth are all out, there's almost no discomfort period. It's basically as if you had scraped your gum. Okay. Uh, if you're having an extraction, you don't feel the dental implant part. You only feel the little bit of soreness that you would have following the extraction. Okay. So there's no reason pain-wise not to do in dental implants. What about those people that have like a mouth that's, the teeth have to come out, right? They have bad gums. Can those people do this? R Randy, those people, those people are ideal patients for us. Part of the reason they have bad gums is the difficulty in cleaning their teeth and the bacteria that are involved, we get rid of almost all of that with the dental implants. So they become way healthier. So you can extract those teeth? Take, remove the teeth, get dental implants in, 
put something fixed on there, let them chew and not have all the pain, discomfort and repeated dental visits that they were having just trying to save hopeless teeth. So the gums do get healthier? The gums, not only the gums, the body gets healthier too because we no longer have all the bacteria entering the bloodstream from the gums that was happening with the periodontal disease. Okay, so, the, so when you remove the teeth, the bacterial infection, this gum disease, lives on the tooth? That, absolutely. So when you remove the tooth? It's gone. Is that right? Yes. Interesting. Okay, you brought more photos. What are we looking at? I did. You're a cosmetic guy, and, yeah. and, and you wanted to show me how, because I said I could spot a denture walking down the street. You said, no, not mine. No, and one of the things that you can do with dental implants is you can design teeth to follow the lower lip line. You can, and it's different when you're trying to design teeth that don't move on a patient that doesn't have anything to hold them in place. Okay. The, the, the teeth have to be flatter to work for a patient. Now the teeth don't have to be flat anymore. So Randy, I have another, another patient I want to show you. Um, he's 80 years old, it's gonna blow you away. He looks so good. And he was fed up with dealing with teeth breaking down, gum problems. He had a choice. He was gonna lose, he knew he was gonna lose all of his teeth. He could have gone to a denture, which may have been a choice someone else offered him. But he knew, he had heard about dental implants. He wanted dental implants. Okay. So he wanted teeth that did not come in and out. He wanted a great smile. And somehow he knew what it could do for him. So here, I'm gonna show you. Take a look. And so now. This guy's with, 80, looks, yeah, <laughs> looks fantastic. Yeah, so now with, with this new set of teeth, he can chew anything he wants to. He can go out and eat a steak without a problem. He um, does is not limited and. So he, he could eat a carrot with his front teeth? He could like eat a raw a, carrot, a, whatever. A, he could eat a carrot, the corn on the cob, whatever, what apples, whatever he wants to with his front teeth. Chew, chewing anything off other than the things I mentioned to you before, which yeah. are no like no Cutting a fishing line, anything you can't which, do that. Yeah, fishing line, line and oh, I mentioned uh, ice. Don't chew ice with your okay. teeth, that's okay. for anybody. But it, it's thrilling to be able to treat people like this because you see the change it makes in their life and their confidence and their ability to be in public. He, uh, he thanked me by referring his son next. Okay. So his son, who is more 50 years old, and, and so this is his son, Dan. Wow, and Dan, are those veneers? Dan had those, no, that's a full upper set of teeth that's supported by, and lowers too, by the way, that just don't show, but full uppers and lowers supported entirely by dental implants, locked in his mouth permanently, what we call a rock hard bite you know, okay. that he, he now has, he can chew anything he wants to. So that guy he, would have been in dentures. And he doesn't, he would have been in dentures and he doesn't have to worry about all the issues he had to deal with before in his life. So a guy like this looks like max 50s, right? Are there a lot of 50 year olds wearing dentures? There are a lot, there are 30 year olds wearing dentures. It's really a surprise what happens with, with this, periodontal disease and how destructive it can be. So I think my message, Randy, is this. If your teeth are that as bad as these patients' teeth were, if you've been told that you're going to be wearing dentures, that, that you need to lose your teeth, or it looks like things are hopeless and it seems hopeless to you, come in and see me. I can talk to you. I can look at what the situation is and we can determine what the best path is. So for they you. can either get a snap in, snap out set of teeth or just teeth that don't come in and out. That's absolutely and that's right. That's what everybody wants, yeah. right? Teeth that don't come out. They want to feel normal. They want to feel like they can be in public like everybody else. Do I have time for a couple yes. more? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, two minutes. The next one I'm gonna show you, this is Stephanie. And Stephanie didn't want dentures. She could have had dentures, but she wanted a smile and teeth that were fully supported by implants. She wanted a full smile that filled out her mouth and she had come from having something not quite as nice. It wasn't satisfactory to her. So we gave her a full smile nice. with fully supported teeth, fully supported smile with a nice smile line. Very happy lady. So and, these are full arch of teeth, upper and lower that don't come in and out. So they're like her own teeth. Then. Absolutely. Like she just brushes I mean, them. For her, they are her own teeth. So she brushes them, goes fact, to see. That's an interesting thing that you bring up. 
people say, these are my dentures, when they say they're dentures, and they say, these are my teeth, when they have implant-supported teeth. Is that right? Yeah. So it's like so, their own teeth. So they own them again. They don't want to own dentures. They're someone else's dentures in their mouth is kind of how they feel about it. Now, we it. should mention Medicare, Medicaid, Medi-Cal, uh, insurances in the U.S. don't cover the whole thing. And Medicare, Medi-Cal does not cover any of it, right? But you have financing available, things like that? We, we do have financing, uh, a number of options, because some, if they want something very extensive, it's not inexpensive. And so you might think of it like, you ha first of all, you have to value it. You have to want okay. it. Okay. And if you don't want a great smile, if you don't want something, if you don't, if you want to be, or if you want to be miserable still, you wouldn't consider it. But if you want that part of your life to change. To be able to eat and chew and all that. Eat and chew and live a normal life and skydive and do all of those <laughs> things. Like water sports. Or, or water like, ski. you can't do that with yeah, dentures. Water ski. Um, high wire act in the circus. I don't know <laughs> what, what, all you you're do. gonna, what all you're going to do, but um, you can do anything. They're okay. locked in. And maybe one last patient. All right. Okay. All right. This is Doug. And the reason I'm showing you Doug is because he's very typical. Look at his Those smile. Those are dental implants. Look That's at his looking... smile and his smile line. You cannot do that with regular dentures, but with supported uh, teeth, a supported smile with dental implants. Like locked in. He locked in, his stay in all the time. He, we um, did his teeth maybe six or eight years ago. And the reason I like it is he is so proud of them. He hasn't missed an appointment to come in. And when you have this, you come in for cleaning. You get your teeth cleaned, you get uh, cleaned around the implants. He hasn't missed an appointment since. And it's almost like he's part of our office. He, he's a great ambassador for us. So. Um, it's changed my life, I would say, as much as it's changed the Good. patient's lives. Good. We are out of time, and, and thanks for coming back on the show. But final message to those people, they're wearing a denture, but maybe they're stubborn, as you say, and they're putting it off. And they're going, I don't know. I don't know if it's that good. And also to the people that their mouth is a mess, and they're headed to dentures. But for whatever reason, they're afraid of the dentist or whatever. What do you say to them, This these two groups? Well, First of all, I would love to see them. I would love for them to come in for a complimentary consultation. Find out what can be done. I mean, we're gonna be honest and tell you what's there and what your choices are. And then we can talk about financial options if, if that's an issue for them. There's going to be no pressure. Just come in and learn about your options. Okay, good. Thank you for coming to the show. You were on my show 10 years ago. So- uh, Glad to be back. Thanks for coming back. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.